made you? Well, um, Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet. Really nice. That was a good one. How about a favorite male actor? Leonardo DiCaprio. I'll be in <laughs> The Titanic guy. Now, would you have liked him had he not been in the Titanic? Um, yeah, I also liked him in Romeo and Juliet. Oh, Romeo. Okay, okay. So that's, that's your guy. Yeah. Okay. Now, now your, your full name is Naomi Nari Nam. Yes. Is Nari a, a middle name? Yes, it is. My sister's name is also Naomi. Your sister's name is also Naomi? Yep. That just make it easy for your dad. Uh, Naomi! <laughs> I mean, why would you have the same name? I don't understand. My dad just liked it. He just liked the name so much. Yeah. He named you both the same name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, how do you know when he called you which one it is? Well, um, when we're at home, he calls us by our middle names. Oh, I see. But you both have the same... But sometimes he goes, Naomi, no, Nami, no, no, Naomi's, come. <laughs> they also... Do you, have, do you have the same middle name? No. No. My sister's name is Naomi Nami Nam. Yeah. And mine's Naomi Nari Nam. <laughs> I think she said that already. Okay, now you're, you're 13. When did you start skating? Well, I started skating when I was five. Five, okay. Mm -hmm. now, who taught you to skate? Well, um, I started off roller skating. Yeah. And my grandfather was a former speed skater. Oh, okay. He used to skate to school because the roads were icy in North Korea. Oh, he would skate to school? Uh -huh. And when you're five, is it really good to learn from a speed skater? Or is he going like take 90 miles an hour? <laughs> no. Well, he hasn't skated for a long time, so. Oh, okay. Just wanted to go, and he took me and my whole family. All the Naomi's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and um, my grandpa and my dad just took me around the rink once. Okay. And from then on, I just loved it, and I kept going around the circles. And that was it? You knew right then? Yep. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Now, you do a... This is something amazing to me. You do a spin. It's 180... Spin uh, per minute. Uh, Revolutions. Per Revolutions minute. Mm -hmm. per minute. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's like a car. I mean, that's 180 per minute. That's like, isn't that like twice as mm -hmm. many? As that's um, as twice as fast as the average person would spin. 180 mm -hmm. a minute. Don't you get dizzy? Nope, not at all. Really? Like, look, he's not even spinning and he's dizzy. Look. <laughs> I mean, does he look dizzy? Look, he looks all confused and he's not even turning. I can't imagine. I mean, when you stop, you don't have a sense of, whoa, where am I? <laughs> nope, because I think you get used to it so much. Yeah? Mm -hmm. How about the first time did you get dizzy? Um, yeah. Yeah, first time, okay. Yeah. Now, now this, an, another point of contention, this seems to be an important thing. Your coach says you're 4'9". You say you're... 4'11". 4'11". Yes. There seems to be a discrepancy there with the... I'm 4'11". You are 4'11". Yeah. Why, does, <laughs> why, why does he say 4'9"? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm, okay. Yes. Now, does being small help you spin? Can you spin quicker? Um, I think mm, not at all, because it just depends on how many times you practice it. Oh, okay. So if okay. you do it over and over, you get better. Now, the move that you're famous for is uh, the Beelman. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a character like on Seinfeld or something. What, <laughs> do people know what that is, the Beelman? Have you seen this movie that she does? Explain what the move is, and then we'll show the tape. Um, you take your foot, and you put it over your head. Okay, right there. I'm <laughs> yeah. Okay, right there. You know, I thought the spinning was hard. No, that, that seems hard. Steve, can you, uh, Stephen, put your... I've done that by accident. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let, let's show people. This is amazing. Take a look here. Take a look. Here she is. And watch this. Let's talk about uh, uh, Michelle Kwan for a second now. Now she, uh, how old is she? She's 18. Mm -hmm. She's like the old lady of the sport. <laughs> no, I'm teasing, but are you guys friends? You guys are friends? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, is, is it kind of competitive? Um, no, I look up to her a yeah. lot. Yeah. And didn't her dad work with you a little mm -hmm. bit? He worked on a move with me um, called the double axel. Yeah. And he, he's, every time I go up there, I go up every weekend and yeah. he's given me some good advice. Well, that's very nice. I mean, because, yeah. I mean, that's right. That's good for the sport, even though you guys are competitors, that he takes time out to help you with that. Mm -hmm. So, okay, now you came in second in, in the Nationals. Yeah. And now, didn't they just change the rule? Because mm -hmm. you're, you're it's hard to believe you're 13. You seem so poised and everything. You seem like you're like <laughs> 18 you. or 19 years old. But 
uh, who was it, Tara Lipinski, is that what caused mm -hmm. it? She won it at what? She won at 14. At 14, mm -hmm. and they said, what, that was too young and they changed mm -hmm. the rule? Well, I guess because she was a jumping person and not a, you know, she not a maturity person. <laughs> okay, so. I think I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't go to the, to the world champion one? No. You have to wait till you're 15. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you you got to do the Olympics, right? 2002. Mm -hmm. I'll be old enough by then. Okay, so you'll be what? What do you have to be in the Olympics? 16. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. I'm doing the math. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great, and I'm and I'm sure you'll do well and make us all proud. Congratulations. Thank you. Wonderful, to, wonderful to meet you. Thank you. Naomi Narinam, right there. Be right back right after this. Mm -hmm.